lot of, again, a lot of situations start. We'll start tomorrow probably with a lot of game preparation stuff. So I uh, head in that direction. But uh, from the scrimmage, I'm uh, pleased with the scrimmage. Very pleased as far as not a lot of, you know, you didn't have penalties, you didn't have delayed games, you didn't have ball on the ground, you didn't, defense didn't have misalignments. I mean, we didn't have, and it looked like a group that knew what it was doing and competed very well in the game. One side made play, generally was good plays made. Uh, but, you know, very efficient because you always worry about, you know, you get penalties, just alignments, communication, getting subs in, in and out, a lot of things operationally that was, uh, I thought was very sharp, much sharper than the first. Uh, not that the first was really that bad, but it was uh, one of the better ones we've had as far as that kind of thing. Not, you know, uh, from that operation stance, one of the first things the coach you got to look at, making sure you're getting guys in the game, they see it lined up, not getting penalties, all that kind of stuff. I was very good. The game was very competitive. I uh, thought the offense was very efficient in the game. Uh, made some plays. Got guys made and, and guys made some big time plays on situations that were just great plays, which I was happy with. Wasn't bad plays on defense, and defense made their plays too. I mean, they did a good job in their area, certain areas. It was very competitive back and forth, but uh, some explosive plays. But uh, what I was good is explosive plays came when other guys did things right, and guys just made plays, which is very encouraging. Good throws, good reads, good protection. Guys rushing well, covering well, being in the right spots on defense. Wasn't anything like, you know, sometimes you make big plays, guys will blow up coverage or do things like that. It wasn't like that. And uh, the defense did a good job in there. They, they're rushing good, uh, played good. But, you know, both sides, it, it was, I, I was pleased with the scrimmage. I really, I thought we kicked the ball fairly well in the game, too. Uh, Ricky was really good in that scrimmage. Uh, Logan was good. He, you know, we, we simulated live punt and all that type of thing. So he kicked the ball extremely well. So from that standpoint, we've got to keep progressing and, and where we're going. But, you know, we got uh, about two weeks, or so it's under two weeks that you start to get polished. Sure. Question? When you say uh, game preparation, is that, you know, starting to implement the game? Implementing yeah, we'll the start game implementing. Game. Start putting just the, you know, first parts of the game plan, things like that. In. What did you see from DeAndre specifically uh, in the scrimmage? You mentioned big plays, and I guess what well, we well, just good decision, decision, game management. Uh, just say, you know, understanding down and distance was very. Uh, aggressive with the ball, but very smart with the ball. You know what I mean? In, in that regard, which I was very pleased with. Uh, but, you know, if he, he made throws and they were just off, they'd be off in the right area where no one would get them. Or we made the plays and made a lot of, you know, made a lot of tight throws. Uh, very good in his protection to all the different blitzes and exotic looks and different things that they bring. And, and that was very good. Line picked him up really well. I was very pleased. Our offensive line, I thought, played really well in the game. How did you? Yeah. How did you see the freshmen? I mean, did they take the next step from the first trimester? Well, I mean, some do, some don't. I mean, and, and some guys, I mean, did a nice job. Some of those freshmen have made plays and uh, and were in there and did a good job. You mentioned the offense. They're not out of place. That's you know what I mean. They, they don't seem out of place. I mean, they seem like you know there may be something not, they can do better, but I mean, they're, they're it's coming. It's coming really well for most of them. You mentioned the offensive line uh, performing well. Are you kind of seeing the? Do you say the right five sometimes? You well, I mean, they, they play well. They've been playing well. They're pretty good. I, I've been pleased with their progress. Progress. I mean, they're going against really good people. I mean, like those guys can't rush and they can't play run defense. I mean, Naughty and Christmas and Sweat and Burns and Pew and, you know, all those guys. I mean, they're big physical guys in there and all the backups. I mean, they're you know, uh, doing a real nice job. But defense wins their battles too, but it's not, I mean, it's, it's, it's really good. It's good football. Good football. Seeing what you know, you've liked before out of Derek Kelly, that left half was fun. Yes. I mean, I dare have one little mistake in the game, but other than that, I mean, he played, he battled, did a nice job. I mean, and uh, played well. What did you say, right tackle? I left tackle. Left tackle, yeah. That's what I thought. I couldn't remember. I'm getting old. My hearing's getting yeah, going. Jim, was there the HBO Hard Knocks show with Jameis? Uh, he said something about um, he didn't really have really good command of down and distance and when he's in the game, looking at the sideline, things like that. Where is DeAndre kind of at that point? Because he he didn't have it when I mean, down the distance. Like James wasn't really cognizant of it while he was on the field. He was always looking at the sideline or waiting for the message to come in. Where do you see DeAndre kind of at that point? Is he we we every game? play we have is down the distance practice. There's not a play we do that doesn't have a situation, a, a, a big emphasis on the clock, the 25, 40 second clock, or down the distance. So we we try to make him very aware of those situations because it changes how you play the game, all that situation. And, He's doing a pretty good job with it. I've, I've been pretty pleased with what he's doing there. Do you kind of see a leadership from him in the huddle with other players? Like, hey, guys, this is what's going on. This is what we have to do. Yeah, I mean, he, he, gets, him, he gets his points across. Mm -hmm. He gets his points across. Jim, I guess Babion had surgery. How's he? Yeah, uh, Babion was surgery, and that was actually a non-football-related injury. He never got hurt on the field. Got hurt before camp did, and his knee was bothering him, and 
he played a little bit and swelled it, went out and he was fine. And he kept, we'd swell a little bit, go down, swell a little bit, was eating or something, we got to check it. And that thought it had a little piece of cartilage in it and it was a little, it was a bigger tear in there where they could sew it, so we, we wanted to sew it. So they actually did it before camp even started. Never did it on the field. But, you know, just a weird thing. But he'll be out for the rest of the year. And Juwan, Juwan Williams just had surgery on his shoulder. Had surgery on his shoulder. Will he be, how long will he be out? Same? A year. Also. Right. Was baby on similar? Is that kind of like Derwin? It's the same similar type of situation. With uh, a little bit different. Man, okay. bit, you could fix it, but it wasn't the same kind of tear. But it, it, was, it was something you could sew, and that's something they're trying to do now because cartilage is so vital right. in guys' knees. Ron Izzo didn't look like he was Jimmy practicing. Fine. He just got along there. He, he actually played. He's played really well. I've been really pleased with him, man. He's a. You don't realize how many things he does with his football team, with blocking the, 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 the pass blocking, the run blocking, the catching the. Setting, I mean, just, man, you always can count on it. And I mean, tough and plays hard. Do the receivers make any style plays? Yes. In the Who, who's making them? Are they all making them? Is there one that's making more than the others? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm, I mean, I was, I mean, as I say, I was pleased with making plays when coverage was good, plays were good, throws and catches. I mean, tightly covered guys that, you know, was good plays. I mean, I, they've all made them. They've all made them. And that's the thing, just got to keep the consistency level going. And that's the thing you always fight, you know what I mean? But anything, just keep grinding and playing. But it's been, it was, they, they did it. Yes. So, Jimbo, do you think at center, is it pretty much just Everly and Corey Martinez? Is that yeah, Everly and Corey right now. Michelle's back up, so. But uh, right now it is. Well, have, we got other guys that snap. We, have, we rotate other guys. The guard, all the guards can snap and play center when they have to. We, we work them all free practice, work them doing drills and different things. We always, you always, I always try to get five, six, seven of those centers. That's a, that's a different deal. We've had a couple linebackers out for a while now. How have you seen some of the younger guys, the other guys? Please. Up? I mean, uh, those young guys, are, you know, at times. But, you know, again, got to be a little more consistent at times, but have made some wild plays. And you see the physicality and the athleticism. Do you have an update on Quantum Phillips? Is he still with the team? Yes. Is there any update on Matthew Thomas? You know, all those guys, we're expecting them. You know, the guys are out, we're expecting them back. Could be any day. Practice, ball, ball, ball security drill. You're constantly, where you're working on guys stripping you, and our defense is constantly stripping you in practice and going at it. And we have all the back and skill guys, you know, we do a drill in their first part of They're going to do some kind of an individual during the day, a certain kind of ball, I mean, ball security drills and different gauntlets that go through and pulls. And, and our guys, we have our defense constantly every day in practice, we're ripping, stripping at it. I mean, that's. The game is about the ball. If you're blessed enough to have it, you got to take care of it. If you're going to get it, you got to go find a way to get it out. So, we, I mean, that, that's a constant interest for us. I love Patrick. Those guys have, have, have played well. I mean, uh, uh, Rasul, Rasul had a couple of big plays in the game, just runs and athleticism. He made some really nice plays. Uh, Cam was really good in the game. I thought all of them at time, all of them had their, their moments. I mean, they really did at different times. Ones, twos, threes, rotating them. I mean, you all you can see the talent in all those guys. Now, who's ready to play and all that? Well, that's what we're winding down right now. But, I mean, I've been pleased with their progress. I really have. Brian Green had a couple. I mean, Brian Green had a couple really good plays in the game. No, they weren't. Because, I mean, he came, as a freshman, he didn't come in as an early role. No, he's doing good. Yeah, he had a really nice run in the game. A couple of them. I mean, they've all done a nice job. I mean, they're still learning things, but, man, I mean, they have their moments. Really, you can see. I'm, 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 that's the way I'm happy I, we recruited on Sheffield. Sheffield had some really nice runs in the game. You've got two freshman quarterbacks, three freshman running backs. Are you kind of get gearing up for the future there? Uh, what's it like? You're always gearing up for the future. The future's <laughs> you always. Hey, with this, with this day and time with these guys, man, I mean, they're all rotating in and out. And, and, and things like that. I mean, you know, they get out quickly. I mean, you got to. You're always looking for. The, you're looking for the present and the future. I mean, you're you're trying to develop players. You got to develop depth. You know what I'm saying in those areas. Is so he be back? Yes, he should be back next next day or two. He was actually playing. No, those guys playing really well. He's been playing really well. So continuity you kind of build with those freshman players all together. Is that kind of overstated, or do you think that's really really helpful? No, I think you, you the class you come in with, you're around those guys a lot. But you know, they're they're incorporated with the upper class too. Tim with James Blackman, did he get some reps in scrimmage and how do you like? Oh, I played really well. Got a bunch of reps. Namely, doing outstanding. Bader got a, got his shoulder banged up there in camp the other day. Well, he didn't he didn't get he didn't get to uh, go the other day in the scrimmage. But um, uh, JJ had a good solid scrimmage, and I'm extremely pleased with Black. I mean, doing a real good job. He'd be able to compete for that. Oh, doubt, spot. no doubt, no doubt.
without a doubt. Very, very intelligent guy, a lot of poise, a lot of presence, a lot of command, and, and can throw the football. Moves around well, too. Doing a really nice job. What is it about the offense that you like to hold the quarterbacks for a fresh, for a retro year? What are, what is well, I know. They're ready to play, they're ready. They can pick it up. I mean, then, but you know, a quarterback, it's a whole different animal. I mean, with the things you go, but some do, some don't. And it also depends on what your upper classmen are. I mean, how, you know, if, if there's something that you see them pushing into, or you got upper class and they're ready to play, you know. Knowledge, knowledge is amazing. It's, it's a big, important thing. But these two young guys are doing a nice job. Do you have an idea who might be the backup for this Alabama game? We'll see here in the next week or so. We'll see here coming up. I know Blackman kind of caused a stir when he came to your camp. He, everybody was impressed by him. Is Was he – Somebody that you guys had high on your radar before that, or, or was that one of the first? Yeah, I love the tape until I meet him, talk to him. Listen, and what a guy's coach to do is ability to learn his instincts, his personality, his presence, command. There's so many things that go into it, and uh, you know you, that's why you know spending time with him makes a difference. And, oh, wow. uh, just to teach them and get to coach them yourself and make them learn, and pick things up, and understand ball, or, you know things like that. And we loved him on film, and just you know we just wanted to meet him. As soon as we met him, we felt I, I definitely felt that was. Something we wanted to do for sure. It didn't take long once you saw him in person. And it spent a lot of time we talked to him. With Trey Marshall being out for the targeting rule for the first half, are you balancing who gets reps? And right now they're still getting reps. And we'll start the game plan. He'll still get a lot of reps because he's going to play the second half of the game. But those other guys, they're getting, they're getting plenty of reps. They all know what to do and how to do it. So we're getting them a bunch in there right now, everybody. Is he allowed to be in the locker room? Like, where, where's he yeah, supposed to be? Okay. It's like if you leave the game, you, you can't go. Can't No, I don't believe so. What I understand. Do you think that's I'll fair? check on that. It's a good question. Do you think that's fair going in, like, from last season no, to effect? I, I think it's ridiculous. I think it's absolutely ridiculous. For what, for the other team, there's a senior got that penalty. They're not, the team's not punished the next year. And it's a different year, different game, different everything. Years are different. I mean, you, they should not carry over. I think that, that's one of the most ridiculous rules we have. You look at Jalen Hurts, is there anything that, that makes you think you might have to go to a spy line? I, I can't understand. If you, you look go, at Jalen Hurts, go to what? A spy? You think you might have to go to a spy Oh, we, we do those things all the time. We may, we may not. I mean, we'll have different plans, different rush plans, different game plans. Sometimes you spy them, sometimes you rush them. I mean, you can't, the thing you can't do is give a, a great player like that the same constant look all the time. He's more athletic as well. Oh, he's athletic. We play, but we, we tend to play a lot of those athletic guys. Are the field corner and star positions getting ironed out yet, or is it still? Yeah, we feel comfortable with quite a few guys in there. So you, you'll see a rotation of guys. Guys are all going to play. So it's not going to be one guy. But, I mean, those guys are uh, – they've been doing a pretty solid job. Is and and different, different matchups and different personnel, different people play. Is that the advantage of kind of the downside of last year? You had all the injuries and all those guys. Well, you got a lot of guys with experience. experience and death. You have. You felt you've had them in a the game and what they've done and, and, and what you can do. So from that standpoint, it definitely is. For return spots, do you feel comfortable in your first team on both of those? Yes, or I do. Is it is McFadden going to be a punt return? Yes. As of right now, it would be, yes. Does a great job. Tremendous ball skills. Tracks the ball. Catches it well. Got good skills. Hits it good. And, and, you know, I've been very pleased with him. Right now, I would say he is. And it seems in terms of Same word always been. We got Derwin. I mean, uh, Keith and Derwin. Big physical guys. They're vertically strong and they hit things hard up in there. And the other, both of them are good blockers for the officer guy. Can all three of those guys. But there's other guys there in the back and some of those other guys, there's two or three guys back that can do it. Those two are being two right now. All three of those guys you mentioned are pretty big guys for returns. I mean, what's the advantage of having well, size? Well, especially on kickoff. Usually punt return, first thing, first thing on punt return is catching the ball. Good quickness, good tracking the ball. It's a different catch than kickoff. It's a whole different personality. It's a whole different everything. Tell me a guy makes a lot of contested catches on defense, attacks a lot of balls, judges it well, and got great ball skills. Been very pleased with him. When kickoff, if you can have now Kermit was a small guy, but he was extremely fast. You want big vertical guys, strong guys on kickoff if you can. Because they're hitting holes, bouncing through things just like Keith did in that bowl game. I mean, and, and you hit it. Now Kermit was an exception because he was very special and very fast. But uh among the bigger guys on kickoff return. And I like it. And they're both got very good ball skills and running skills. Well, um, you know, last year Josh Witt kind of got some, you know, got some acclaim for 
that North Carolina play at the end of the game that you know maybe he was jogging or mm-hmm. thought the side uh, saw the tackle and stuff like that. How did he kind of respond from that? How did he kind of? It had a great second that? half of the year. You know, was banged up, was hurt. Remember, was trying to get back. Conditioning probably went down a little bit because of you know he couldn't practice as much, but he got hurt in the Louisville game, and we had to do the and all that. Excuse me. Uh, and what we were doing. So played hard. He done a real nice job. I mean, great with great effort. That's something that's non-negotiable. How much have you been able to practice Durban on offense? And just what have you seen from him? Some, but not a lot. You don't have to right now. Another guy stepping up. The players haven't been available to talk much the last week or so. Is that because you're kind of trying to? Pour out. I ain't trying to do anything. Some of them don't want to. And it's not against y'all. I mean, they're just tired. They've done it over and over and over again. So, I mean, from that standpoint, I, I, I don't make them do it. We ask them to do it. They want to do it. If they're wore out, they don't. And some guys are tired. And, you know, it's not they don't like it. They're just, you know, to get a piece of moment, to get a moment to themselves sometimes. I don't, I'm not going to make them do it. But they understand. They all do usually do a pretty good job. But it is, I mean, you're in the dog days of camp, man. They're trying to trying to keep their head up and keep going. Is this more difficult than two days just because it's drawn out? Oh, it, I mean, it's hard now. And it's been hot. And you're meeting all day, you practice all day, and they've been in hard physical practices. You know, and, and you got to get there. So, from that standpoint. Last week you said you were eager to see how they got through the this time of practice. What have you seen? I was playing. I mean, getting through last week and that scrimmage. You know, it's capped off. I had a day or so there, you start to see them, and then you challenge them. and. And uh, rejuvenate them there a little bit, give them some shorter practices with high intensity. You know what I mean? We're on the field longer, but in real high intensity drills and got them out. And then they responded well on that. So, you know, got through that part of it, I thought, pretty well. Y'all good? We're good. Thanks, Coach. Like our videos? Then you'll love being a premium member of Warchant.com with exclusive access to breaking news, insight, and analysis from the best on the beat. Enter the promo code WARCHANT30 on our sign-up page and get exclusive premium access for free for the next 30 days. WARCHANT.com, your ultimate seminal sports source.